Welcome back, y'all. Another episode of Sincerely Yours. Headed to Ford Field with some of my teammates. Mess this up for real. Jose's tacos. So I just left neighborhood grocery. Last time I came to the store, man, it was two whole racks. I mean, I had more than enough stock in there. I go in there today. One rack. We down to one rack. So my ship is selling. Today, we had uh, Somerset. This was a very, very last second decision. I got a birthday coming up this week. And I don't feel no kind of, I don't know, I guess you could say like some kind of excitement for the spirit of my, me getting a year older. I don't really feel it. And I said, man, today I'm going to go out and do some shopping, but I'm going to go shop for my son. Like, he, my baby needs some clothes and shoes and stuff. And then I thought about it. As I'm driving, because I was going to a different mall, as I was driving, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go shop for myself today for once. And I feel good today because I told y'all it was my turn. So it's my turn. <laughs> Remember as a kid, you come to the mall and you just be finding so many things you want to spend your money on. And you'd be like, man, I can't wait till I get some money to be able to get what some of the things I really, really, really want. Then you become an adult and you get to the mall and you got a couple dollars on you and you can never find nothing that you really, really, really want. Black one even go even harder. I might cop this, bro, for the 40 ball. I can't beat this. I think it's the fact that I'm not really uh, impressed by anything these days, man. I be needing something to scream at me to buy me. Like, buy me, bro. You got money, spend it on me. And I don't be seeing nothing these days that really make me want to do that. Then, when I come to the mall, I like to see what the graphic tee section look like. Just to see what's trendy with some of the new artists that they that they pushing through graphic tees. And, and I'm gonna be honest, a lot of these feel so cheap and lazy. I found something at the Gap. Couldn't pass on it. I got three pair of pants, a hat, and a shirt for $35. Couldn't pass on it. Let's keep looking. Like I said, I'm looking to buy something. I'm looking to spend my money. This was the store I used to come to in my high school years when they used to have sell CDs. And I would be in here sampling all the newest albums for hours, bro. Literally, I could have done it for hours. All they sell is DVDs now. I don't see. I don't even see no. See, oh, I see records in the back, back there, back there. Man, I remember when coming to Macy's and then the Ralph section was like the the pinnacle of the Macy's men department. Now this this section is so down bad, bro. I'm at Oakland, right? This time I'm at Oakland. This section is so down bad, bro. Ain't nothing sweet in here, bro. This is minus. This is like one step away from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I got me some loafers. I got some cologne. I got some clothes. I need to. I need to do this for myself a lot more often. So the day after finally shopping for myself, I'm now shopping for the boy. Arm full of for the boy. This is when I'm most at peace when I'm shopping for him. Cause he hit the phase now where he like to dress himself. So I'm, so it's fun to shop for him now because he takes pride in how he looks. One of the many times when I had uh, found myself starting my life over, I remember this is this time was uh, about 2010, and uh, starting my life over. I was just looking for some new experiences, and you know I was working on my music, so I was trying to find out where. Like, where are all the musicians and rappers and, you know, where everybody hang out at? So, you know, I did my research, I, you know, jumped into that community. Um, 
and you know you eventually figured out that there was a scene we that's what we called it we called it the scene but it's really in other words it's a sense of like a, a art or a music community but we called it the scene and on the scene there was all, always different like shows for people to perform there was like art shows there was you know essentially like i said an art community and it, in in these different variations of art we had places that we can you know sometimes appear and just bump into people that you know like-minded people doing the same thing that out that we were doing on this scene so i say all that to say like i'm just wondering where is the scene now you know i know my age group is kind of the age out of that you know we got our own lives people that started families and all that uh, sure but even if it's for a younger generation where is the the scene. I'm not in the freelance world, so I'm not necessarily in kind of any kind of competition with anybody, but I do feel like knowing more about what's happening in our spaces um, and even I feel like we can all be an asset to each other to some degree. You know, that's really what's worked for me with the network over the years is finding people, like minded people and reaching across. Reaching across is what's worked, you know, um, not necessarily you know, uh, trying to drag people along, you know, meeting people halfway. That's all that's on my mind this week, man. Until next time, sincerely yours.